Hello and welcome back to part two of top tips uh, from what I learned from one year on the road. This again is a short video. I'll start with showering and toilet. Now one of the biggest criticisms of our van was that it didn't have a shower or toilet included. Now for me it saves space, it saves weight, it saves cost and obviously it saves the work. Uh, so what are my thoughts after one year on the road? Literally everyone I've met on the road who has a shower in their motorhome or van just doesn't use it because it takes up too much water. The only one person I met who does use their shower only uses it when they're near a water filling point so they can re-top up their water after showering. Like I've shown before, we do have a shower bag and I think it's great. It's cheap, it's cheerful, we can hang it on the back of our van and I am planning on installing a shower curtain for even more privacy and comfort. I would say toilets in camper vans and motorhomes are used a lot more than showers because they just don't use up as much water and you know when you need to go you need to go. A couple of women I've met on the road use porta potties and I think these are great and very useful. They do use chemicals, one in the waste tank to break down the solid matter for easier emptying and a different chemical goes in the flush tank to remove the smell and bacteria. So in essence it does in fact cost you money every time you need to take a number two. But as a system, they're cheap to buy, some starting at around 50 pound and can be emptied fairly easily down any toilet or at a designated motorhome excrement point. So it's worth looking into one of these if you think you'll need a toilet in your van. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have one. So for the past year, we have been digging a hole uh, in the woods or using cafes or service stations or campsites, which uh, throughout Spain are fairly common. Next is the refillable LPG tank. And this system has been an absolute wonder to use. I cannot recommend this system enough. Now from empty to full, it costs around 12 pound to fill up. It's super easy to fill. You just pull into any LPG station and it's like putting petrol in your car. And a full tank of our 11 kilogram uh, tank lasts two to three months for two people. So it's super cheap to use. You can find your nearest LPG station online uh, and there's loads and loads around. We've never struggled to find one close by on the trip. Stay tuned for a video comparing both refillable LPG and non-refillable LPG uh, in the next few days. Now my last top tip is Wi-Fi. Most people living in a van will be using their phone as a mobile hotspot as a means of connecting to the internet, which is fine for browsing and social media. But when you need to stream movies, it can be very data consuming. And most people will have data caps in place. So my answer on the road has been McDonald's. Uh, you know, I don't consent to eating their food, but the good thing about McDonald's is they're normally very strategically placed for camper vans and motorhomes. There's lots of McDonald's which are outside of city centres and the internet speed, in my experience, is normally very good. There are also a range of apps available. Uh, one is the Park for Night app. If you select wireless internet connection from the quick search menu, you can easily see if there's any free Wi-Fi spots around you. Also, check the Google App Store and the Apple App Store and there's a range of apps which tell you where free Wi-Fi is available around you. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching. I've decided to create a whole separate video regarding 365 day year long breakdown and insurance for outside of Europe. If you're gonna be outside of the UK for up to a year. You know, it can be a real pain to find this in the UK and I struggled myself. Uh, also look out for a video which I'm going to be comparing LPG against non-refillable LPG systems and stay tuned for another video where I'm going to be comparing heat systems in van, wood burners with gas systems etc. So thanks again and goodbye guys.